Here at Madison Square Garden, we're about to round the corner to one of the most famous locations in boxing history, and it's held some of the biggest fights in boxing. But we're here to discuss one of the lesser known fights, which is the fight between Arturo Gatti and Joey Gamash that took place in February 2006. The reason that fight is significant is that it's the fight that ended Joey Gamash's career. Um, Gatti stepped into the ring that night with 14 pounds on Gamash. And the reason, as uh, Larry Merchant, who's the HBO announcer on the night, pointed out, was that Gatti had been dehydrating too much in the, the days and the hours before the fight and trying then in the 24 hours before the fight to rehydrate. Dehydration is an enormous problem in boxing right now. Virtually every boxer does it. And the process works like this. In the days leading up to the fight, a boxer who is naturally 180 pounds will try to boil down to 160 pounds which is his official fight weight and he'll do that by just sitting in a, a sauna skipping in a in a sweatsuit and he'll strip off those those additional 20 pounds in water weight and stand on the scales and parade around as a 160 pound fighter in the 24 hours between the weigh-in and the fight then he will try to put back on that 20 pounds and that's what Gaddy did so that when he steps into the ring he's at his natural weight again and he has all that punching power and all that strength back the problem is he's not fully rehydrated he may have the water back in his system but it takes a lot longer for his body for his cells and his muscles to absorb that water again so he is vulnerable he's dehydrated and in particular his brain is dehydrated brains are actually a lot more vulnerable than previously thought that it actually only requires a, a very low level of trauma over a sustained period of time exactly the sort of brain trauma that you'd sustain as a boxer taking punches in the head for your, your entire career um, and dehydration amplifies that risk and it amplifies it quite dangerously because the brain loses mass when it's dehydrated it shrinks and if it shrinks within the skull it has more room to move back and forth and side to side which is the sort of movement that causes serious brain, serious long-term brain injury in, as we know now, American footballers, and as we're about to find out, boxers, professional boxers.